When recording a cooking show, there's a lot of preparation that goes on behind the scenes. Right now, I'm gathering and measuring ingredients and the containers to put them in. I have two refrigerators, one right here in the kitchen and one that's in my laundry room. So I'm going back and forth to grab what I need. I also keep my flour back here. So now I have to measure out the flour that I'm gonna use for this bread recipe that I'm doing. I have all types of flour, bread flour, all-purpose flour, self-rising flour, cake flour. This is the AP flour, all-purpose. I've got sugar by the 10 pound sack. I've got rice and beans by the 25 pound sack that I put in all these containers. So let's go back into the kitchen as I measure out powder milk for this recipe. And Joe's gonna come in a little while to start running camera for me. I always put my trash out of sight. Okay guys, take care of my sleeves. Ready? Okay guys, so it is four cups of bread flour. Take a look, it's not sifted or anything. Here at the Bear Pantry Show, I wear a lot of hats. Not only am I the primary on-camera talent, but I'm also the producer and director of the show. So I have to find ways to tell Joe and the children exactly what I need for them to shoot. And I do it kind of tricky. I'll say stuff like, come along with me, Joe, while we do blah, 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 blah. So now I'm going to tell Joe why I need for him to zoom in on this piece of cloth when I cover the bowl with it. Make a closer shot of it, because that's going to be my fade out when I start again. Okay, ready, ready. I think you might have moved in too quickly. Let's do that shot again. So when I start back again, right? You gotta be on this. So it's gonna be a fade to that and a fade to that. And then I'm gonna pull it off. Okay, professional. <laughs> he likes to clown me. He likes to clown me when I'm doing the show and I'm trying to do my little easy shots. See you guys in an hour. I was trying to create this transition where we end on the cloth and then one hour later after the dough rises, we open with the cloth. So as you guys see, I'm running a camera there for the behind the scenes. Can you show that, Joe? I'm running a camera there. And that's just my little Canon Elf. It's 1080p, but it's, it doesn't do well with inside stuff. It's kind of grainy, but this is the better camera that I'm using. And all I have to do now is wait for the yeast to come up to temperature. Well, not come up to temperature, but to rise. I have to wait for the yeast to rise before I can actually continue kneading off the bread. So meanwhile, let me remove my ring. And I'm just going to wait. And sometimes I just stand here and wait the four or five minutes that it takes. Or I go sit down. And that's pretty much... This is more of a laid back show that I'm doing because it's not like a cake where it's like a lot of moving parts, the frosting, the this, the that, cream, the egg, we're not doing that. We're just doing a bread. So just toss everything in need, set it aside and let it rise for an hour. So we have a lot of downtime, a lot of prep preparatory downtime. Normally my older son Josh or my husband Joe will help with a lot of the cleanup in between. But if they're running camera or just not available, then I have to clean it up all by myself. Sometimes I say, man, if the show was on TV, I'm sure they would have somebody hired to do this part for me. But guess what, guys? The show is not on TV. It's on Facebook and it's on YouTube. So I got to clean up all my own mess. And I'm just going to go back here and grab some flour to come back and continue filming the show. Now, look, I put the camera on the butter dish so I can get you the shot. And then I don't have to bug George Josh to run camera for this part right here. See? I have to be innovative with my camera placements from time to time. Placing the camera on a butter dish or on a coffee mug like I did right here to get this shot allows me to not bug Joe and the kids too much to run camera and also gives the viewers a voyeuristic view of what's going on inside the kitchen. So now we're going to go outside and I'm going to instruct Joshua as to what I need for him to do next. So stay on this thing. I'm going to lose this. It's still hot right here. Then I'm going to release, take this thing off, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to pull up one of the bread apart. So okay. just get, get me a good angle. Like, like that. Okay, ready? Show this. I'm trying to see what angle it goes through this thing better. Maybe this one. Got it? Mm -hmm. Get right in it. Okay, 
did just now was the thumbnail pictures outside. I put it back in my clean cloth. I have some cloth just for pictures. And Joshua, he's over here waiting. But what I have to do now is go check my teeth. Got to make sure it's clean because I've been eating in between. And go check my hair. And when I come back, I'm going to finish the show. I'll be right back. So this is the end of the behind the scenes. Everybody is eating a sandwich out of the little rolls. Everybody meaning me, Joe and Josh, because we're the only ones that ran camera and we're in the front of the camera today. That's my boy, brother. And the dog's waiting, hoping to get some. Thanks for watching this behind the scenes, guys. I see how I'm doing this and Joe's eating behind the camera, something that's not allowed up in this piece, because you can hear him chewing. Behind the scene. I'm not supposed to be eating behind my camera, boo. Anything goes behind the scene. I'm a strict director, Hanjo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I worry about the quality of my show, guys. I can't help it. I don't know why don't you fire me. <laughs> you want, this is one employee that wants to get <laughs> fired so badly but cannot get fired because I have nobody to replace him with. <laughs> That's as cheap as he is. He would just work for the food that I'm making. I'm just saying. Like, look, look, you have the camera all crooked right now. So this, this is your our fault. You turn one employee and that's it. No, I have three more, but they know how to hide. <laughs> <laughs> uh.